Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kate Swan. If you're new here, I like to talk about luxury handbags, shoes, accessories, things like that. So if you're into that kind of thing, feel free to subscribe and join our little luxury family here. I have an exciting video today and I know that it's been a minute, but I had to finally reveal these bags to you guys because I, I haven't uploaded in like probably a month and I said, I gave fair warning that my life was gonna be a little bit hectic over the next few months. Things are getting a little bit easier for me to balance, so I am back and I couldn't be happier about it. And I have had these bags for both for over a month. And I've been using them. I This is not like a true unboxing, but I haven't officially revealed them. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen both of these bags already, um, but that's okay. I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna talk about them anyway because I'm very excited to have them in my collection. So I'm gonna start off with the one that is probably a little more obvious because I've mentioned it in a previous video that I wanted to get one of these. So I think it's, I think it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. <laughs> okay, so this is not actually from Fashion File. Um, I just couldn't find the dust bag that it came in, so I put it in a fashion file dust bag, but this is from Rebag. So I have the cute, adorable little Palm Springs Mini. It's so cute! So I unboxed the Palm Springs PM. I unboxed the slightly larger size of this bag a couple months ago, and I really, really liked it at first, but then the straps, the straps were like puffy. Like these are like nice little thin straps. The straps on that one are puffy and at first I liked them and I thought they were comfortable but then I realized that they kind of interfered with a lot of outfits that I tried to wear the bag with so I was like this is just not gonna work for me and if I'm not gonna wear it I don't want to keep it I'm a person I like to keep a, a collection of things that I genuinely love and use so I decided to sell it I sold it to I think I sold it to Rebag I'm pretty sure I did Sold it to Rebag and then I ended up buying this one from Rebag. I got what I feel like is a pretty good price for this one. I've seen these like pretty overpriced um, since they are kind of like hard to find new. Um, um, the Louis Vuitton website seems like nearly impossible and also the price has gone up like crazy but that's not the point. <laughs> I found this at a reasonably good price. I had some points with Rebag that I used toward this too. Um, so that combined with me selling back the larger version is what paid for this. So so nice to have this in my collection. I've actually like been on the fence about this bag ever since it became popular. So when it first started coming popular and you saw like every influencer with it, you saw everybody on Instagram with it, you saw people in real life with it, I was like, I don't know, like it's just, it's everywhere. I see it all the time. It's kind of like the new never full, kind of basic. <laughs> but you know what? It grew on me because it is extremely practical and I actually use this bag all the time. The way that I tend to carry it is by the top handle, so I carry it like a little top handle purse, usually in my hand. Sometimes I'll throw it over on my sh on my like shoulders, like a regular backpack. Um, but the thing about that is I feel like the straps slip a little bit off my shoulders, and I don't really like that. So I'll either put it on one shoulder so that I can hold the bottom of the strap, or I will carry it by hand, which I really like to do. It's just adorable. Now this little chain here, I added this. This is actually I used this on my Palm Springs PM. First, uh, I purchased this from Etsy and it is not a real Louis Vuitton chain because those were stupid expensive. Like I was not about to pay that for a little like gold chain that nobody's going to know even like I would never know the difference. So <laughs> I was like, why would anybody else? But this makes it so much easier to zip and unzip um, this backpack and I, I love it. I'll leave the link down below too um, if I can find it. I bought it like a while ago, but if I find the link, I will put it down below in the description. Sorry, I had to go answer my phone. Uh, also, sorry if you guys see me sweating in here. If I look a little glossy, that is why it is warm and I'm avoiding turning the air conditioning on. Like I have this light on me, I have the window open for some natural light, and as soon as I'm done with this video, all of that is getting shut down because we're gonna sit here in the dark and I am gonna try to cool off. But for right now, I might be a little glossy. It's just a glow and that's okay. <laughs> But anyway, I have been using and loving this backpack. I think it's been like probably a month and a half, maybe a little bit longer. I, You will see it in a lot of my Instagram pictures. You will see it in a lot of my Instagram stories. Like I said, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have already seen both of these bags because I am obsessed with them and I love them both. And they have both turned into two of the most used bags in my collection. So I know that you guys have probably seen the Palm Springs PM, or the Palm Springs Mini, sorry, like a bunch of times on YouTube, so I am going to stop talking about this one and I'm going to move on to the other lovely bag that I have here. I love giving just like a quick update, like we don't need to spend like 30 minutes on this video, like this can be a quick video update. 
you guys want to know more about either of the bags or want me to do like a what's in my bag video let me know also i've been trying to get more into like reels and tiktoks lately so that i can make like shorter content um that way i don't kind of get held back by the daunting task of setting up my camera and a tripod and my ring light and everything like that and I can just record when I want to record so maybe we'll try to get into some more of those things too I don't know we'll see how it works out but anyway <laughs> on to this next bag this is from fashion file <laughs> this has become like probably my most used bag for going out now um yeah I'm obsessed with it my most used bag is probably my Birkin 30 um but this is probably my most used bag for like more like going out date night type of things anything where i'm going out in the evening or even when i just feel like it i love this bag <sighs> it is the beautiful louis vuitton capucines bag and it is in the bb size it's just so cute i'm really glad that i got the bb size because i think the mini would be too small i do still want a mini though because the mini is really cute i think they're adorable but First of all, the price is higher than the pre-loved BBs, so I'm going to let that one go for now, but I'm glad I got this size. It's just perfect for going out. I love it so much. I actually didn't watch very many videos on this bag before I bought it. This is just something that just popped into my head that I really wanted. I had a credit with Fashion File because I sold a few things with them. Um, on a side note, I will be doing an updated bag collection because things have changed. You know me, I'm always selling bags, buying bags. That is just how I am. That's how I live. So <laughs> I will be doing an updated bag collection. That was weird. My phone just fell off my desk. Okay, that was weird. But anyway, I will be doing an updated bag collection. It is coming soon. It will probably be the next video that I film. I think I said that last time, but this time I really mean it. <laughs> so yeah, this is the black with gold hardware. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a closer closer up view of this now this bag is in pretty good condition but you can tell that it has been worn before so I think that it was listed as very good condition on the website this was a pretty good price I will look up the price and I'll put it on the screen and I'll also put it up against the retail price because the retail price for these is just absolutely insane I it's not happening for me no so <laughs> I'm really glad that I was able to get this one pre-loved. This is just the cutest thing. So when you open it up, it's got these two separate pockets, it's got these two separate compartments. I had no idea about this. Like I said, I didn't watch very many YouTube videos on this before I bought it, to be honest. But um, it's got these two pockets. It's got a strap that comes with it. I have not used the strap yet, to be totally honest. I just always carry it by the handle. I think it looks cuter that way. And I take the strap with me, usually it's in the bag, just in case I need to go like hands-free for some reason while I'm out. Um, but yeah, it has these two little amazing compartments. I'll just lip gloss in here. And then it has a zip pocket at the back. And it has a little clip here. And it has the D-ring here. So you can clip these together to keep it closed. And then you just, I had no idea how these worked when I got it, but you just tuck the little flap into the little um, piece that's right there. I don't know how to explain it. But that way it keeps the top of the bag closed so your stuff is secure. And I, you guys, this bag just makes me feel fabulous and fancy and expensive. Like it makes me feel, it makes me feel luxurious. Like this is what luxury is supposed to feel like, I think. Like I think that this, this bag really like does it for me. I feel like with the Birkins, and, and yes, the Birkin is more expensive, but I feel like with the Birkins, it's like a more like casual, like laid back kind of luxury vibe. This is like the luxury vibe. I love it so much. This is, uh, I can't get over it. Like the little rings, they're so cute. Anyway, as you can tell, I'm just head over heels about this bag. I think I've had it for about a month. Um, I've used it quite a few times. I love just picking it up and going. Like one thing that gets me about bags is the way that it feels like in my hand. And this, while well, this bag has like some weight to it, so you can tell it's a very sturdy, like something that's gonna last a while, something that is good quality. It's also not too heavy, but I like that it has some weight to it because that I'm, I'm I don't want to pick up a bag that is that is like retailing for however many thousands of dollars, and it's light as a feather, and I can tell that there's no quality in it. Like this is some thick leather right here. <laughs> Don't quote me on this, but I have heard that the leather from the Capucines bags and like the quality of the Capucines bags is supposed to be better than a lot of the other um, Louis Vuitton bags. I have heard that a few times from a, from a few different YouTubers, and I'm not 100% sure if that's true, but I can say from my experience and what I have felt, 
quality wise this feels like good quality some of the other Louis Vuitton items do not I'm also talking fast because I'm over here sweating like I said once this is done I'm shutting down everything or closing the blinds turning off the ring light and I'm just gonna lay here and try to cool off so <laughs> let me go ahead and wrap this up these are my two new bags they are fabulous and I love them so much honestly like there's not very often where I buy a few bags and I'm like oh these are gonna stay in my collection I think these will stay in my collection for sure these they couldn't be more perfect I couldn't ask for better items and I'm so happy with them and I love being able to shop pre-loved and save money so that is just a plug for buying pre-loved I know some people don't like to do it some people want the experience of going into the store but when you shop pre-loved things aren't like sold out like they are at the store you don't have to wait as long for things like you do at the store and especially with this bag you can get some pretty big discounts so highly recommend if you don't only shop to pre shop pre-loved to give it a chance you might find some really good deals and i think that it's totally worth it <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching if you want to follow me on instagram to see how i style my handbag shoes accessories things like that i'll put my instagram on the screen right here and if you like this type of content definitely come subscribe come join the family i have a lot of videos planned so i will be back i am here <laughs> I know I know I had a little bit of busyness going on recently but I'm back and I'm here like I said so come subscribe turn on the bell notification if you want to be notified when I upload new videos and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys